professional skills trainer, Coach Karan Godwin, and these are the ball hog gloves. It takes away your grip, so the ball slips out of your hands. You really gotta be able to control the ball. For quality basketball training products, go ahead and log on to ballhoggloves.com. God first, work and tell. This is Coach Karan Godwin, pro skills trainer. Unfortunately, uh, we're enduring a, a crisis, a pandemic, in which we're not able to get into gyms. So what do we do as basketball players? You have to continue to get into work, whether it be outside in your backyard, which I'm about to show you guys, or inside a garage, ball handling is always key. So I'm Coach Karan Gowan. I'm gonna take you through a couple of key ball handling drills that I use with my guys. Hopefully you guys will go 100% at home and be safe out there. As always, God first, work until. Coach Karan Godwin, as you can see right now, I'm in the backyard. Uh, two basketballs. I also have two cones. So if you have anything that can, you can utilize as a cone, go ahead and use that. I'm going to show you a couple drills uh, that I use with my guys, especially as it pertains to ball handling. Right now, I have the ball hog gloves on. Uh, these are great because it allows you to actually take away the grip of the ball, forcing your hands and fingers to work overtime, and we have weights on the wrist. So I'm going to be working on my dribble speed as well. Uh, pay attention to these drills and feel free to pause the video uh, whenever you need to, if you need to go over another drill. Whenever you see this image, it's time to pause the video and perform the drill. So first things first, we have to get warmed up. So as you see here, I have the Ball Hog Gloves Muscle Relief Roller Stick. And this allows me to loosen up those muscles before I stretch. This is a great way to do so, whether you're indoors or outdoors. As you can see right now, we're outdoors, so I want to make sure I'm loose before our ball handling workout. You can find this at ballhawkgloves.com as well. One of the things I like to implement during my workouts is what's called dribble stretching. It's where we're actually stretching while enhancing our ball handling. So here, you see we're touching the floor, and what I want you to do is I want you to dribble with each finger. All right, so we're working on that hand strength. You're gonna start with one finger dribbling, go on to two, three, four, then five, and then we're gonna switch. Whatever we do with one hand, I want you to do the same exact drill with the opposite hand. There will be some drills in which I only show you one hand for the sake of time. I want you to perform each drill going both ways. It's always important that you strengthen your left as well as your right. In this situation where we're strengthening these fingers one at a time, our goal is to work each finger to get ready for these ball handling drills. Now we're gonna transition to pounding the ball while stretching that back leg. We're gonna start with our right leg and then we're gonna go ahead and switch sides and stretch out that left leg. This time we're gonna go between the legs dribble while stretching that back right leg. Go ahead and switch sides as well. Now we're live and ready to go. I need you in an offensive stance, off hand out, pounding that ball as hard as you can. Keep that head up so you can see the court. Now we're gonna go three pound dribbles. One over dribble, one back dribble, and that's one. So I need you to go 25 times with each hand. Make sure you're keeping that head up and keep control of the ball. You don't necessarily need a cone in the middle, but make sure you place something there that forces you to extend that handle over. Right now we're working on that ball control. Make sure it burns, 25 each hand.
moving on the crossovers I want you to keep your head up while crossing over in rhythm I want you to do 50 of these so that means every time you cross over and it comes back to that hand that's one so you start off with your right hand you cross over to the left cross back over that's one I want you to do 50 One of my favorite drills is the between the leg crossover made famous by Tim Hardaway. So you want to make sure you're staying low on your dribble, keeping that head up as always, and ready to attack. If you're using the ball hawk gloves, you're going to find this drill extremely challenging because you literally cannot grip the ball. If you see me lose the ball from time to time, it's just because I literally have to squeeze through that glove to feel that basketball. When I take off these gloves, it gives me a tighter handle because now I don't have that anti-grip resistance. In this drill, I want you to go 25 times each way. two pound in and out drill. In this drill, I want you to pound the ball twice and I want you to step in that direction that you want that defender to go into. In and out is probably one of the best moves in basketball, but you gotta sell it. So here, you see two pounds and then we're leaning into that in and out, stepping into that opposite direction. One of the more popular ball handling drills is the one hand crossover. In this drill as always, I want you to keep your head up and going side to side, crossing that ball over. This drill is all about ball control. Since this is one of those burnout ball handling drills, I want you to go 50 times each hand. That means every two dribbles counts as one. Stationary behind the back ball handling, I want you to go 50 times and the same rule applies. Every two dribbles actually counts for one. So if you're starting off with your left hand, you go to your right, back to your left, that's one. Rhythm crossover behind the back. We're gonna start with the ball in our left hand, cross it over, and with our right hand, we're going behind our back. I want you to stay in rhythm. You can start slow, but begin to speed up as this drill goes along. We're gonna go 50 this way, and then we're gonna start with our right hand and go 50 the opposite way. Three dribble pound and then same hand between the legs. 
This is a drill that's actually difficult to keep your head up, but I want you to concentrate on looking forward. I want you to go 25 times each leg. One hand crossover, then two hand crossover combo drill. Every four dribbles counts as one. I want you to go 25 times each way. Between the legs twice alternating, two pound drill. Once again, we're going to start with our left hand, we're going 25 times, and then after you're 25, you're going to start with your right hand and do 25. Add in a little twist to this drill, we're going to go between the legs twice alternating. Then we're going to go three dribbles over the cone. So one dribble right there in front of your knee, next dribble over the cone, and right back where we started, then we start all over again. We're going to go 25 times, starting with the right hand, another 25 times, starting with the left hand. Make sure you're pushing yourself. The in and out pullback drill is one of my favorite moves. We're gonna do this 50 times. So that'll end up being 25 each way. Now I want you to do the same in and out pullback, but this time afterwards we're going to go three times alternating between the legs. Make sure you continue to keep that head up, and we're going 25 times each way. So that's 25 starting with your right, 25 starting with your left. Great drill. You should be tired right now if you're hitting these drills hard. Keep it up. Let's go. Now I want you to get another basketball, and we're going to start off with our two-ball pound dribble. I love the two-ball pound because it forces you to work on your left hand as well as your right at the same time. two ball pound alternating. At this point in the workout, you should be tired. If you're going 100%, your fingers should be hurting, your wrist should be hurting, but this is what we call working tail. So keep going. Two ball zigzags, another great ball control drill.
two ball high low drill so you're going to take the left hand ball and we're dribbling low with the right hand ball we're pounding high i have weights on my wrist with the ball hog gloves so now this is starting to wear on me this is one of those drills where it's hard to count your dribbles so i want you to go 20 seconds each way Five dribble pound, then crossover drill. We're going to start off with that left leg, go 25 times, then we're going to switch over to that right leg. And same thing, five dribble pound, crossover. 25 times each way. In this two ball drill, we're gonna extend one basketball out in front of us. In the other basketball, we're gonna go two dribble crossovers. We're gonna do this 30 times. Every time you cross that second ball over, that's one. Minimum five dribble pound, then double cross drill. So you're gonna pick a hand. If we're crossing over with our right, after five dribbles, you're gonna bounce that left one, cross it over, and pick up, start all over where you left off. We're gonna do this both ways. Every time you cross that ball over twice, that counts as one. We're going 25 times each hand. Four dribble pound, then between the legs alternating twice. The same rule applies. Every time you bounce that ball in the air, go between the legs twice, we're going 25 with each hand. Hopefully you guys went 110%. I know you guys don't have a gym out there, but you have your home. So whether it's outdoors in your backyard or inside your garage, we have to find ways to get better. I'm Coach Karan Godwin. You can find me at jumpstarthoops.com. Also ballhoggloves.com if you want to order some ball hog gloves or other basketball training equipment. Till next time, next workout, God first, work until. This is Coach Karan Godwin. As you can see, we're no longer outside in the backyard. We are now at home. I'm here live in the man cave uh, with the wood floor. Uh, you can have a um, carpet floor as well. Just don't mess up your mother's stuff. I know how it is, all right? Um, you, I know a lot of you guys are shut in right now. You don't have access to a gym. I just want to show you a couple things that I used to do, you know, when I was at home on the couch, some of the things that you can do to still improve your game while you're at home. First and foremost, we have the Ball Hog Gloves Grip, and this right here is available, ballhoggloves.com. And what this does is, it's right here, and it basically was designed to strengthen your hand, so it's a hand grip, okay? So I want you guys to be able to get a hand grip or something like this, and be able to squeeze 25 times each set. So we're gonna, we're gonna do four sets, all right? You're watching Netflix, you're watching TV, go ahead, we start squeezing it, squeezing it. Now, what this is going to do, a couple things. As you can see here, my wrists are working, okay? Also, my fingers and my hands. It's essential that in the game of basketball that you have strong hands. It's one of the things that I got from uh, watching Michael Jordan and studying him when I was younger. And I uh, hear what people had to say about him. They said he had very strong hands. So you want to be able to strengthen those hands, okay? You're going to do 25 on one hand, 
You go turn it around, 25 on the other hand. And the cool thing about this is um, you can do this at home um, while you're watching television. And sometimes you can even do it at school. You know, I used to have a grip, you know, um, after one of my AAU coaches um, told me the secret to his success. Um, basically, long story short, after practice, he was actually shooting. And he was shooting from much further than I was. And I told him, you know, what's your secret? I know you're older than me, but you're barely jumping. And he was like, son, you have to strengthen your hands. And he pointed me towards a grip just like this, okay? So you want to make sure you're squeezing these and you're strengthening those, you're strengthening those hands um, for ball handling, for passing, for catching, um, for shooting. I mean, everything. It takes strong hands. So you want to go 25 each hand. That's one set. We're doing four sets. So... You really should start to feel it because that means you're going 100 squeezes um, for each hand. And you can break it up too. You can, you can watch your show, you know, do 25, give your hands a, a break. And then, um, you know, the next show, start up another set, another round. All right. So that's the ball hog gloves grip right there. A great device to help you shoot, shoot in those hands for the game basketball. Now, while you're sitting there, if you can, let's go ahead and grab a basketball. First thing we're going to do is fingertips, okay? Fingertips. We're going to walk it up. Walk it right back down, okay? And this right here, just like we did with the grip, we're strengthening those fingers and those hands, all right? So this is something you can do when you're at home. Just like that. Maybe a rubber ball, something that can bounce, okay? Alright, now ball handling. And this is something that I used to love to do when I was just sitting on the sidelines, okay? So we're going crossovers between the legs. Crossovers between the legs. Every time you go here is one, okay? So we're going to do 50. 50, just back and forth. Keeping that head up. Keeping that head up. two pounds, one, two cross, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all right, start off slow, get a good groove, and then go faster, each hand. Now we're going to go three pounds and then three crossovers, all right? After that three crossovers, that's one. And that the ball should be in the other hand, okay? So for these, we're going to try to do 50. One, two, three. 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 
one, two, three. Now this is a lot easier for me because I, I don't have my ball hog gloves on right now at home because I'm used to you know that anti grip so the ball's like stuck to my hand. All right, all right. If you have two basketballs, you can go ahead and start your two ball dribbles like you're watching your favorite show. Now what you want to focus on? Developing that hand strength and making sure those forearms are working, all right? That forearm strength is very, very important when you're handling that basketball. In the fourth quarter, guys get tired and the turnovers start, all right? So two ball pound, start to go faster, as fast as you can. After that, now we're going to go alternating. One, two. So we started off with the pound, and we're going to do that for a minute, now we're going to alternate for a minute. Alright, so that's a minute on, and then we switch, a minute off, alright? A minute on, a minute off, so a minute of pound. You go ahead and do a minute of alternating. That's just one set. Remember, we need four sets, okay? Now we got zigzags. So you, you want to make sure you get your legs close together so you can zigzag those basketballs. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. There you go. Good. Good. Control it. Control it with your fingertips. Control it. do this 50 x 50 times all right 50 times make sure you control them 50 times now we're gonna do left leg between whatever hand you start with every time you get back to that hand that's one okay we're gonna do 50 x 50 times 50 get a good 50 in there all right now we're going to do the opposite hand, the opposite leg, opposite leg 50 times, so hopefully you guys like these at home drills, it's just something that you can do while you're at home, whether it be outside in the backyard, you're in the garage, or right here on the couch, uh, some of the tips and things that I used to do coming up that really helped my game, and as you know right now we don't have a gym, so while you're at home, you might as well get better. So I'm Coach Karan Godwin. All the stuff you see uh, in these videos, you can find at ballhoggloves.com. As always, God first, work until.